Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Rainbow, this is Megzy. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wanna, but I don't wanna. I thought I killed Holly, and I got so upset. You didn't though, you didn't though. I didn't. She's okay. Her and Grim are okay. I was just, ugh. Go back to get, this is Wolf with the Among Us, by the way. <sighs> okay. I can, do I have different tarot cards? No. <gasps> Eh, eh. I can't see that. Okay. Uh. <laughs> she just looks upset now. Oh. Oh. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. No, I'm you not telling know. you crap. I want to know. Prince fan. Uh, I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know? What else is there? No, oh. you oh, could have known. No, I could have. Oh? Come on, let's keep looking. Hey, no, no, no! Uh, okay. Letter. Uh, Ichabod Crane, there are, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? I explained in the last letter the conditions here could do some improvement. I'm seeing an unrest from the residents and have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think it should be made a priority. Waylon Smith. Smith. That was the name he used. Okay. Dear Iqbal Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I really would like it if you fix the air. <laughs> like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us with a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. So he's neglectful. Where's all the money going? To prostitutes, I guess. I guess. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I already have waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass in the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Yeah, really. Only when Cole was around. <laughs> we broke into something. Yay. <laughs> Visual biz uh. Oh, hey. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Buffkin, do you know what was here? The king of what? It's a ring, at least. The ring of power? Oh. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Oh, uh, monkey! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me. I Rita. called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Um, I tried this to, This isn't but your concern. It no, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he's spoiled your every attempt at locating him. 
And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Yeah, yeah. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Uh. <laughs> A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you Define know about Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. You know what? Let, Look, let him beat the shit out of him. know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. Oh. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody. Who, who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. <laughs> and that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones Tell babbling. Me Tell me where to look. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since uh, Lily used the wrong. Glamours, she had known who the witch was. <laughs> she gave me a look. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Actually, it doesn't that's matter what my know. question. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. We both are just dot dot dot. I oh, god damn it! I clicked it! I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse. Crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Okay. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh, really? Uh. What? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Uh, oh, God. Um, um, Crane's apartment. <laughs> Holly's mad at you. Dee's not going to be in his office. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Okay, Crane's for the- Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, for the record, hit that guy dealing with- uh, The Tweedles? The Tweedles. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, the nice area. Uh, uh, uh. The hell? That's the one. 
1901. All right then. Well, that's easy. Cool. Why is the door open? Because he probably did close it. Go in. I'm not even asking. Crane. What did I just say? Was oh, this timed? Ugh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm just. Wow. Damn it! Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay. All right. All right. Examine quickly. Books, books, come on. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. <laughs> uh, Picture? I've never sure. seen him that excited. I guess things have changed. Looks like he's with Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Colonel Sanders? Yeah. Okay, wine glass. Same brand we found in the open arms. That would be the thing. <laughs> I did say it was Buffkin, but it's just what Buffkin steals. Yeah, really. Okay. Nothing? That's it? That's nothing here? Oh my god! Over there. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, desk. Uh, desk first. Desk first. Yes, go as slow as humanly possible, hey, baby. Hey, money! Hey, Crooked take it! man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Oh, did you borrow money, money, too? Confiscate money! Yeah, at least I'll have money now. <laughs> Yay! My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work, if I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. Ew. <sighs> Gross. Hey! Let's just take that. Again, slow as humanly possible. Might be useful. Possible. Um, um... Oh, that's... Men. that's ominous. Uh, the bag. Bag. This hasn't been used in years. Merry Christmas, Mr. Crane. Thanks for all your help this year. Look, Jeremy. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Well, yeah, that's his... whatever. Uh... There's a message. Really? Covered head to, head to toe and like. S um. Going somewhere? Going somewhere? <gasps> what? I, uh. Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. Wow. I am gonna this beat weather, you right? senseless. A little damp, I guess. Are but, you, here? you know, some people like that sort of thing. What are you doing here? Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. There are no plants. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay! <laughs> you got me. Just... Don't Take it easy. Yeah. Don't make a big deal out of this. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. 
I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You uh, heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't you need any of this shit. Is? A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Do you know where Crane is? Have you heard anything else about him? No. Should I have? Uh. What else do you want me to say? A witch. Give me a location. I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Don't hit it. All right? Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. Oh, your shoulder. Yeah. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? I'm trying. Are you just wandering around Crane's, Crane's apartment. Witch. I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch. Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, well, I don't know, solving these murders should be your top priority? Crane's definitely involved in all of this. I just need to track him down. Then I'll know more. Involved? How do you mean? That's all I'm gonna tell you. Sure. <laughs> well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. I'm still gonna punch you. Bigby, I believe you're, uh blocking the doorway there, if I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Oh? Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, oh. I just happen to know who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, Tell me. though. Alright. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. Sure. One hand watches the other sort of thing. Uh, like the whole incident under the line. Come on. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. <laughs> Alright, that's a little Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but... From what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But I'm gonna punch you! Start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. I'm gonna punch you! Right. <laughs> I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Who are you? I think this arrangement Jack. can be beneficial to both of us down I know, but which, which one? Jack? There's like a bajillion Jacks in <sighs> fairy tale history. It was just lovely running into you, baby. Take that. Hang yeah, thank on you. a second. Oh, come on. <laughs> the white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yeah, actually. <laughs> Out. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get, Get it? it. Yeah. Yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. Thank you. Is that it? Pick me? Are you still here? We're done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. Da, da, What's da. going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, uh, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Right? Really? Good point. You might as well I go mean, for it. 
I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. Uh, We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. Oh, Christ. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Oh, God dang it. Uh. Okay, well, hang on. Let's think about this. Um, What's his name? Is is that D and Dom's office? Okay, D and Dom are working for the Crooked Man, and the Crooked Man has been asked, like, I, I would assume that they're working for the Crooked Man. They were working for Crane, weren't they? Well, they... Okay, no, because uh, the way I'm thinking is I don't think they're working for Crane. They have an, an invested interest in Crane. And um, the trip trap. Uh, why do we need it? To, why would we care about? Um, Lily's well, Holly's stuff? got Holly. She's got her stuff. Yeah. Why? Why do we care about that? Just in case she's got anything on her. I think Dean Dumb's off. I would, would think so too. Option. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Come on, give me a stopping point. I know. I think you can pause whenever, can't you, though? Not when it's in a loading screen. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. The last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Uh. Are you okay? Your face, uh... Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? Yeah. When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. Oh, well, there you it's go. It's just super annoying. What? What a fucking asshole. <laughs> I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. Oh, no, it's not your fault. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I didn't really send him. He just kind of I'm not went. supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. <sighs> don't worry about it, Flycatcher. Oh, I'm going to get fired. Oh. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come Talk in and clean now. up. Uh, come They're usually us. pretty nice, yeah, understanding. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Aww. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Yeah. Oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. I totally and forgot I'll ask that her about that job, there. all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. I totally forgot that guy went over there. Crap! Would have gone to the other place immediately. Oh well. Oh well. I'm making all the wrong decisions. Alright, I'm pausing it before they put me in another time thing. Alright, uh, like, service, comments, and subscribes, all that fun stuff helps us grow this channel and let's play a lot more games a lot more faster. Um, all of our contact information is in the description below, including Megzi's Patreon. She does all the art for the channel and the Patreon lets us supplement her income just a little bit uh, to let us buy toilet paper. Um, also, I, I've started a GoFundMe campaign to help Rainbow get a new computer. 
Um, everything is explained on the campaign page, but basically our setup is less than ideal to say, to, to put it nicely, uh, ends up, it, it ends in a lot of frustration and lost quality and lost footage. So, uh, if you could go take a look, um, donate if you can, and if you can't, then spreading the word would be equally as appreciated. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. My name is Serena, this is Mexi. Everybody stay sexy. Bye. Bye.